<laughs> we don't have like you on paper, but I'm just really slow at your part. It's really, it's really easy. So there's only one part, and when I put the mic to your mouth, that's your cue. So all you have to sing is, um, when I'm alone, yeah. All the words are. <laughs> <laughs> Taliban Actually, this has been one of the great parts about this is, is sort of the bonding. <laughs> uh, Mark and I bonded on. The Thank God it's Friday. he gets in the winter is like 40 degrees and uh this is bullshit <laughs> Oh, 
we, can, <laughs> we developed a new game. I came over here and actually flew into Kuwait about a week, about 10 days ago. And uh, I was seeing these posters hanging up about sexual harassment. And I say it's not harassment if you both enjoy it. when somebody gets ticked off and they decide, well, he touched my ass, so I'm going to press charges. So here's what we've discovered, okay? And y'all y'all have to implement this right off the bat, starting tonight, okay? Doesn't matter what rank you are, you can be a private. And I know we have a couple of generals here tonight. One star, two star, six star, twelve star, doesn't matter. If you feel, a lot of weight. If you feel like something has really, you know, just they've done something extraordinary. All right, if they've done something extremely extraordinary. You do this. Good game. Okay, now, wait a minute. now don't take it too far now. Okay. It's, it ain't, it's like this, it's like... Yeah, okay. turn, turn around. It ain't like this. <laughs> kind of like that. I like it when you pull hair, man. <laughs> it don't matter if it's the general. Walk up. Walk right up beside him. Good games, right? <laughs> show this is my ninth USO tour my seventh um, between Iraq and Afghanistan the whole and it was a black and white square picture about this big and it was Raquel Welch and she was in a bikini looking all hot and for the youngins go google Raquel Welch she was like the hottest bombshell in the 60s and 70s Iraqi president Mr. Saddam Hussein <laughs> Yes, you know, there are parts of Iraq that aren't great, but this country, man, when we flew over, what a shithole! <laughs> and far from being a condemned man, uh, you know, it's, a, it's a miscarriage of justice, the end. Well, I mean, Innocence yeah. until proven guilty. Sorry, I can't control In uh, the old days, in my sure, country, sure. you were guilty until executed. Huh? <laughs> it's a little joke. I'm, Kidding, I'm pulling your past down the sports show, period. Wow, really? I had no idea you were even a sports fan. Well, I'm not, but uh, I like the title. It's so ballsy. You know, it's something I would come up with, except I think I would have called it the best fucking damn sports show, period. <laughs> Fuck you. Something like that. <laughs> the president of Iraq. People love me. Right? <laughs> People love me, they would come up to me and say, Saddam, we love you, or Saddam, uh, you're right about everything, please don't what kill my family. They just <laughs> love me, they love me. Well, that's because they were scared of you. Yes, sir, that's my point, that I was very just romantic, maybe one of my rape rooms, and perhaps we could, uh, you know. Uh, Saddam, you know our American troops have shut down all of your rape rooms. Well, actually, that's kind of a misnomer because pretty much any room, 
since I've been in the, the clink and, uh, and I was hoping that you would you know, get a message to them saying that Papa Bear loves them. That's all, you know. Um, you, you haven't heard about Uday and Kuse? No. Okay. What? Don't tell me. They're in trouble? Oh, I bet you it's Uday, huh? Oh, that Uday. He overused the rape room. Oh, that Uday. Actually, I think there are going to be a lot of people who can't wait till the three of you guys meet up again. 